analog computers. These are computers that convert physical quantities into circuits connected to mechanics or electricity in order to solve issues. Analog computers are employed for continuous data processing. Both engineering and medical science make use of them. These computers operate quickly and deliver outcomes quickly. Measurements and analyses of voltage, current, temperature, and other parameters are also performed by analog computers and then converted to digital format. Because analog computers were usually much faster, especially when processing complex equations, they were frequently employed in scientific and industrial applications. These computers provide or show the numerical or quantitative outcomes of their activity. Analog computers have the advantages of being extremely fast, able to handle continuous signals, and are more accurate. These computers are employed in the paper and chemical industries because they measure and compare amounts in a single action. They don't need any storing space. An analog computer often produces readings as its output. The first computers to be constructed for the creation of the contemporary digital computer were analog computers. The three main uses for which they are intended are calculation, monitoring, and simulation. They are made to process analog data. Voltmeters, odometers, speedometers, thermometers, and analog clocks are a few types of analog computer. Digital computers? Digital computers employ the binary number system 0 and 1 to carry out arithmetic and logical operations, which explains why they calculate quickly. Digital computers operate in the binary form zeros and ones. The majority of applications for these computers are in scientific labs and offices. Digital computers can store a lot of data and complete tasks accurately and fast. Digital computers are machines that require programming in order to function as intended. Different forms of data are generated, stored, and processed using electronic technology. The four components of a digital computer system are the control unit, the input-output device, the main memory, and the arithmetic logic unit. The control unit chooses and calls up instructions from the memory, synchronizing the various operating speeds of the input and output devices to that of the arithmetic logic unit to ensure the proper movement of data throughout the entire computer system. While the information received by a computer from its input unit is stored in the main memory, therefore, in most digital computer systems, the input-output devices and auxiliary storage units are considered peripheral equipment, whereas the main memory, control unit, and ALU combined make up the central processing unit. Tablets, desktop PCs, and laptops are a few types of digital computers. Hybrid computers. Digital and analog computer features are combined in hybrid computers. These computers combine elements of digital and analog computing. While the analog component frequently functions as a differential equation solver and mathematical problem solver, the digital component acts as a controller and provides logical and numerical operations. All of the features found in both digital and analog computers can be found in a hybrid computer. It has the speed and accuracy of a digital computer along with the memory and speed of an analog computer, combining the greatest aspects of both types of computing. In specialized applications where processing of both types of data is required, hybrid computers are mostly used. As a result, they support the user in processing both discrete and continuous data. Because of the analog subsystem's all-parallel architecture, these computers are dependable and deliver correct results. They also process information quickly and precisely, making the results more valuable and accurate. Hybrid computers facilitate online data processing and are capable of managing and solving large equations in real time. Hospitals are the primary users of these computers. Blood pressure and the heartbeat of a patient are monitored with the use of hybrid computers. They are also utilized in scientific applications and aircraft. Weather forecasting and weather bureaus also makes use of hybrid computers. ATMs and CT scan machines are two instances of hybrid computers. Microcomputers, any electronic device with a microprocessor, which serves as a central processor, is referred to as a microcomputer. Microcomputers are the tiniest digital computers. They are tiny devices made for a single user. They go by the name personal computers as well. Microcomputers consist of a single processor minimum memory and a minimum input-output circuit. Microprocessor chips are located within such computers. These computers can be afforded for personal use and are reasonably priced. Every compact, reasonably priced computer system intended for home usage is known as a microcomputer, the CPU, which functions as the system's brain, coordinates all activities, performing all necessary computations and commands. The CPU is frequently referred to as the brain of the computer since it computes, thinks before executing commands, and handles resource management. Word processing spreadsheets, games, teamwork, and communication, research, specialized software, and many other jobs are performed on microcomputers. Important document completion can be completed accurately and efficiently with the use of software such as word processors and spreadsheet. Microcomputers are utilized extensively in workplaces, households, hotels, and retail establishments. 
Microcomputers are available in a wide range of forms and dimensions. Tablets, laptops, and cell phones are a few examples of microcomputers. Many computers. In terms of effectiveness, speed, cost, and memory, many computers fall between mainframes and microcomputers. Mid-range computers is another term for little computers. Microcomputers are smaller than many computers. Small computers provide tools for processing large amounts of data more quickly. They're not as compact as mainframe computers, but they are larger than microcomputers. Usually, they are multi-user systems that can accommodate numerous people concurrently and run multiple applications simultaneously. These PCs are known for their strength, dependability, and affordability. They were employed in many different fields, including corporate applications, data processing, and scientific computations. A few other advantages of many computers are their compact size, which facilitates storage or transportation in confined areas. It can be utilized for a multitude of tasks, such as serving small businesses as servers, gaming consoles, home automation, media centers for streaming audio and video, and mobile workstations for professionals that must work on the go. They are also more energy efficient because they consume less power. The majority of mini computers have DisplayPort or HDMI connectors, which lets you connect them to a TV or monitor. The PDP-8 was the world's first mini computer, and these machines are all but obsolete. Deck BTP-11 was the mini computer that was most successful. Mainframe computers. Large, fast computers with lots of memory are called mainframes. They can handle several hundred users at once and are utilized for processing enormous amounts of data. A mainframe is a big, strong computer that is usually used for intricate computations and data processing job. The three characteristics that set mainframe computers apart are availability, serviceability, and reliability. Mainframes continue to play an important role in finance, banking, healthcare, insurance, utilities, administration, and many other private and governmental sectors, even in the face of advancements in other computer technologies. Larger organizations such as airline booking systems, consumer statistics, centralized payroll systems, resource planning, advertising, and census data processing primarily employ mainframe computers due to their higher processing power. Large-scale data processing tasks, including business resource planning, consumer and industrial analytics, census processing, and large-scale transaction processing typically involve these systems. Unlike a typical PC, mainframes can access vast amounts of internet data repositories quickly and with greater volume. Mainframe computers include two CPUs, a large amount of storage, and several input-output cards. The capacity of mainframes to execute vital applications on a massive scale is by far their greatest advantage. Some examples of mainframe computers are the IBM 390 and PDP. Supercomputers. Supercomputers are the biggest, fastest, and most powerful computers. They are also the largest computers. Supercomputers are employed in science and research. They are mostly employed in nuclear energy research, fluid dynamics, earthquake investigations, defense, and space research. A supercomputer handles all other high-level functions and government processes like immigration approvals. The military also makes substantial use of supercomputers to handle, compute, and even analyze a wide range of information, including launching systems, traffic management, and coordination. High-performance mainframe computers are referred to as supercomputers. It is a strong, extremely precise device that can handle large amounts of data and intricate computations. These computers are enormous in size, incredibly fast, and have enormous amounts of storage. Because supercomputers are so useful for weather forecasting, they can also be used to anticipate earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Supercomputers are helpful for addressing challenging numerical problems and for data mining and scientific research. A supercomputer's hundreds of installed processors enable it to function at such a remarkable rate. The fastest supercomputer in the world right now was created by IBM. Blue Gene Q and Mira are the newest supercomputers. Supercomputers like Anurad, Cray, and Param are further instances. A workstation. A workstation is a single user computer that has a powerful, fast processor, lots of storage, sophisticated graphics, and lots of RAM. They are especially made with science and technology in mind. Workstations with several processors are utilized to carry out intricate and demanding scientific computations. Workstations, which sit in between desktops and servers, are strong computer systems. These devices are more common in scientific lab settings. Workstations are used by engineers and animators who need a machine with more speed and power than the norm to execute complex calculations. IT companies use workstations for data analysis. Additionally, they are employed for highly animated purposes that are occasionally impractical for a basic PC. Workstation computers are widely employed in many different professions and educational areas. Because of this, their graphics processing cards are frequently utilized for jobs like video editing, 3D graphics, engineering design, and data science visualization. Previously, workstations were more expensive, larger, and heavier than regular PCs. However, 
Due to their improved specifications, workstations can perform more complex tasks such as AutoCAD design or healthcare modeling more quickly than conventional PCs. Higher standards are used in the construction of the motherboard internal drive, video cards, RAM, and CPU. Workstations include the Silicon Graphics IRX computer, IBM Intel Station Power, and ThinkPad Power Series. Surfer Computer A server is a computer program that may be used to remotely access other computer programs over a network and supply them with resources and services. This kind of program's host computer may alternatively be referred to as a server. A server is a computer that transfers data across an internet connection or inside the same network from one machine to another. They support network service provision. A server's functions include receiving, storing, and sharing data. A server computer runs programs, hosts websites, and offers services. This kind of computer communicates with other computers to share information. Large hard drives, gobs of RAM, and potent processors are common features of server computers. Numerous vital services are offered by computer servers, including resource sharing, data storage, website and application hosting, authentication, and security. Regular computers are not as strong and powerful as servers, which are available in numerous configurations to suit different needs. Processors, memory RAM, storage, network interface card, power supply unit, cooling system, and motherboard are the main part of server computer. Application servers, gaming servers, web servers, database servers, cloud servers, fax servers, computing servers, DNS servers, and catalog servers are a few types of computer servers. Wearable computers. The newest technology in computing is wearable computers. Wearable computers are small computers that are intended to be worn as accessories on a user's body. They can be used for functions like health monitoring. Wearable computers are intended to make tasks easier, more effective, more efficient, or just plain more enjoyable. Wearable computers make it easier for us to work from any place and are constantly on, which makes it easier for us to access them whenever we need to. Numerous daily tasks including emailing, tracking one's fitness, and navigating are carried out by wearable gadgets, which are classified as mobile information processing devices. Wearable computers are friendly, intelligent, seamless, and portable communication tools. One thing these wearable computers have in common is that they allow for continuous user wearable engagement. Wearable technologies are network devices that are always on, always collecting, and always track activities. These wearable devices are used for tracking information on a real-time basis. They have motion sensors that take the snapshot of your day-to-day -day activity. Examples of wearable computers are Google Glass, smartwatches, cell phones, body cameras, smart rings, and fitness tracking, health monitoring, etc.